that's the topic for this little blurb. In the background, you can hear children playing. You may be able to hear water. There's a temple on the island of Malta in the southern Mediterranean, just off the coast of North Africa, called the Hypogeum. It's 6,000 years old, carved into the earth with antelope horns, five and a half meters, and with those horns were carved 33 egg-shaped chambers that spiral down, and in the bo very bottom is the oracle room where someone goes in and makes sound, and that sound resonates perfectly through all 33 chambers. And when they excavated this 6,000-year-old temple called the Hypogeum, they found the disarticulated skeletons of over 7,000 female forms, everything from infants to old crones. And they had come there to incubate dreams or to die or to give birth or whatever reason. And this temple was active as a women's healing temple from 4000 BC until 1500 BC when the Roman Empire came and patriarchy took over and that temple was closed. You can go there today, should you choose, and there are recordings that have been recorded there. And I say this only to say how important sound healing has been really since the beginning of recorded history. It is being revivified today and it is an integral part of both Spirit Dance Soul Song and of Touching Essence. And it's an integral part of your life and my life outside these practices. It's the first thing a baby does when it's born is take a breath and let out a sound of some kind. It is what a mother exchanges with an infant. And as babies grow into children, sounds are the things that they do. It's like when they're playing with cars, they make the sound of engines, they make the sound of trucks, they make the sound of the rooster in the morning that wakes you up at four o'clock. If you're living in a remote location in an indigenous culture anywhere, it could be in England or the USA or right here in Bali. I love that about living close to nature. I do hear the sounds of the frogs and the crickets and whatever else is making sound. I love the sense of hearing a, the spout of a whale sound when they breach and let out that sound. Just start paying attention to all the sounds they are. Make a joyful noise, we were told in a biblical command. Make a joyful noise. and that could be singing, it could be a joyful sound, just the gratitude. I'm grateful you tuned in today to listen to me make sound through words, and I hope you'll come join me for an exploration in the sense of sound.